fire signs so i made a poll that asked you guys um what kind of messages you wanted for the full moon whether it was video or like comment and reply whatever but you guys voted video so here i am pulling these cards for you guys i pulled them ahead of time just so i have enough time to actually relay the messages to you but i'm gonna get right into it um the first card well actually a card that flipped out or i'm outside it's beautiful out here today so i'm um sitting out here and the wind blew and it actually flipped over the full card in my deck so the first card that you guys received was the full card so i do feel that you um fire signs whether this is sun moon rising venus um honestly mars north node south node whatever placements you feel that you resonate with most it's all about your chart at the end of the day um and the influences within your chart so um whatever you feel that you resonate with these are for you but uh these are for my fire signs the um full basically represents new beginnings and i noticed that one of the other cards you got here i'm just gonna skip ahead for a moment is the end of a an error card and so with that popping out i do feel like you guys are leaving behind a certain whether it's lifestyle group of friends relationship um mentality i think for a lot of you guys it's mentality because you both or you received both cards from the surrender deck and it's uh surrender outdated beliefs of yourself and then surrender to obsessive thinking so um i do feel an anxious energy surrounding this group and it's funny because as i got as i was pulling the cards i kept checking like wait is this the fire signs reading because you guys just um last week had like such positive um energy surrounding you and now i just feel uh like this really anxious kind of like down um i don't know i don't want to say depressed energy but you guys are i feel that you're really thinking about something something's weighing heavy on you and you um ultimately need to kind of address it and possibly uh stop overthinking it and kind of get out of your mind and with this card it could be i don't know maybe something you guys did maybe something that sorry so sorry but with these two cards coming out the knight of pentacles and the two of wands i feel that it could be you guys are just feeling as though you're not moving forward in something in your life you could feel trapped you could feel stuck um this could, but i'm i'm picking up that it's kind of more in your head than in your actual circumstances especially with i got this new deck recently um and i know that some of you probably are familiar with it it's such an amazing deck i got the uh, animal spirit deck and so the two cards that came out for you guys fire signs is the rabbit and the bat and um i'm gonna look at my notes just because i did just get this a few days ago but the bat card said um it was about darkness and letting go so if you think of like the symbolism of these animals and the bat being nocturnal it is about kind of going into your darkness and exploring it and kind of transforming transmuting it you know what i mean and it's going through this kind of rebirth um i'm hearing shadow work so it's like shadow work shadow work but like um this could definitely be something that you guys need to go through so what i'm actually seeing is that maybe last week you guys we're feeling positive. I do feel like you're embarking on this new journey. A lot of things are changing for you guys. And you probably were feeling really pumped about it. Probably really excited. Good things were happening for you. And you know what tends to happen when you have those high highs or whatever. Is that like once reality sinks in. Things start to feel kind of. I don't know. Um, you know when something good happens. And you start to think like it's either too good to be true. Or you start to kind of like nitpick at all the other things that aren't good in your life or whatever i'm just picking up on that energy of like you guys just not um being able to fully enjoy like whatever good things are coming your way for whatever reason there's something blocking it and i do think that it's like a mentality like it's something within you you got the knight of pentacles and i do feel like this does represent you guys kind of um being stagnant in some area of your life and needing to it could be financially it could be like in your i just heard creativity so someone could be feeling like whether you're an artist or if you 
do something creative you could just feel as though you've become stagnant or you have it also could be that you're like making uh okay so what i'm picking up on for you guys is that you could possibly have to make money off of your art or your creativity and it's like something new to you and maybe you've gotten to that point where it's like hard like your creative you're having like a creative block because you've started to have to like rely on your your like ideas for money and you're starting to be like okay well what do I do next and it just could be this yeah I just feel this energy of you guys kind of overthinking and just like feeling um yeah so okay so what I'm seeing is that some of you guys may have got an opportunity last week and or like something good happened a lot of positive things and then maybe this week um you know when good things happen or you get an opportunity there's you, all the hard work that comes in so I'm still seeing this energy of good something really good happening the high high and then the reality sinking in so for you guys I do feel like you maybe got an opportunity and you're embarking on this new journey and now it's sinking in all of the work that's gonna it's gonna take or like that it's going to take like baby steps in progress and you're not gonna like be able to even if you do make like a one great accomplishment it's not gonna always work out that way and you're gonna really have to be patient with yourself and kind of pace yourself and um be able to uh, appreciate the process sorry I couldn't think of those words but um I definitely do feel like a lot is changing for you guys even in the way that you conduct yourself or like the kind of lifestyle that you live because you did get the surrender outdated beliefs about yourself card and so I feel like that card always comes up even the end of an era card comes up when you guys are stepping into like a new you like you're either leveling up or you're um some of you I hear moving away uh, like, so you could be moving away from, like, where you were living and starting a new journey, you know? Um, but I do feel like with the, uh, these are the Black Moon Astrology cards. I just, I also recently got these. I'm in love with these as well. But you guys got um, Pisces, I believe. And with, I don't know, I think Mercury, I think uh, Pisces isn't in, sorry, Mercury isn't in Pisces anymore. Uh, I know Neptune still is, but... I just believe that you guys are still being impl influenced by that Pisces energy, but you are needing to um, really be open-minded and really kind of, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Just really have faith in like this new chapter that you're about to enter and have faith in yourself and have faith in your ability to like overcome um whatever it is that you are dealing with you know what I mean whatever these obsessive thoughts are whatever this um like inner battle that you're dealing with is um believe that you're going to be able to overcome it in order to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish um we are all human nobody's perfect so don't be so hard on yourself when it comes to um you know, like, just taking it one step at a time, one day at a time. Like, when you get an opportunity, you aren't going to be, like, a master right away. You know what I mean? So you're going to have to tweak things. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to, you know, not everyone's going to love it or whatever. You might lose some money. Like, things are going to happen, but you have to be willing to, like, take those risks or, like, you know, try things and throw things at the wall and see if they stick. So... Um, I do feel like that's something I was called to say to you guys, fire signs. Um, I wanted to say, yeah, okay, so this is kind of confirming the energy I was feeling at the beginning is uh, with the rabbit card, because I was looking at my notes again for uh, the animal spirit deck. With the rabbit card coming out, it is an earth um, card, actually, and the bat card was an uh, air card, so that represents, like I said, it was a rebirth it's a rebirth within your thoughts, within your mind, within the way that you express yourself and communicate. Um, but the rabbit card is an earth card, and so I do feel that it represents a need for grounding, a need for security in some area of your life. I just heard root chakra. But um, what uh, the rabbit represents, sorry, I don't know why I got sidetracked for a moment, but the rabbit represents uh, being afraid, overwhelmed, being paralyzed, and kind of being your own worst enemy. Um, yeah, I just saw the Nine of Swords. Yeah, the Nine of Swords in Tarot. Yeah, um, and I do feel like you guys are kind of in your heads about something and you're uh, possibly just really letting 
I don't know, something happened with this group, with the fire signs, where you're really letting something get to you. Um, but I really think it's like, like the card said, it's like your own, you're being your own worst enemy. And you need to kind of take a step back from the situation. And um, just allow yourself to breathe, allow breathing room and allow, um, it's interesting, yeah, um, I don't know what I wanted to say with that, but just, like, allow yourself to make mistakes, allow yourself to be human, um, forgive yourself is what I'm hearing, oh, forgive yourself, I don't know if you guys, like, made a mistake, or you did something wrong, or if there's just something you regret, um, or something that you're battling with internally, this could be mental health, I'm hearing mental health, um, so some of you guys could be dealing with, I heard mood disorder, um, you got, some of you guys could be dealing with a mood disorder, or just some kind of mental health issue that is, uh, really weighing on you and causing you to, no, okay, like, it's so weird, but I did hear it, I don't want you guys to feel this way, so I'm like, no, I don't want to say that, but I just heard hate myself, like, I hate myself. And I don't want you guys to feel that way. Um, and so, yeah, like, if there are mistakes that you made in the past, I just keep going back to this card. If there are mistakes that you made in the past, um, you have to forgive yourself. And even if others can't forgive you or just whatever the case may be, like, I also am seeing this end of an era, like, you are really leaving behind, like, this old you, this old version of yourself. And I do feel like there are some people who don't understand because I feel some guilt around this reading like around you guys just feeling maybe last week you were having these highs and like you were on top of the world and then maybe i don't know if whether you have haters or you just have people in your life who try like knocked you down in some way or another i don't even think it was necessarily intentional but something happened where for some of you guys it was intentional i just heard wait but like for some of you guys it was intentional but i think that um ultimately you need to like let that go and um i just want to get into this before it gets too long these were supposed to be uh short and i was just gonna like have it be like that two minute reading to go on twitter and this ended up being it's now 12 minutes but i think i needed to say these things especially for this group so i guess i'll just do a little bit more of an in-depth reading and try to upload these to youtube but the last reading i wanted to pull um the last cards, not reading, sorry. The last cards I pulled for you guys were from the Romance Oracle. I did want to pull romance cards for anybody who is in a relationship or dealing with someone at this time. Also, um, the full moon is in Libra today, and so the Libra rules the... Or Li the Libra. The Libra rules the seventh house. Um, and also... Um, why the hell did I just face Libra? <laughs> Libra rules the seventh house in interpersonal relationships. Sorry, guys. Um, long warning. But anyway, you guys receive very soon an engagement. Uh, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So with these two cards coming out, I do feel that anyone who may, even if this obsessive thinking and all this uh energy that I've been feeling, this anxious energy that I've been feeling was surrounding a relationship, I do feel like you guys don't have anything to worry about or that there is some progress coming in for you. For those of you who are in a relationship, some of you may be getting engaged or proposed to, um, and then for some of you, like, don't just assume that it is that, uh, for a lot of you, it is just, like, it said, ascending to a le higher level of commitment in your relationship. For some of you, I just heard moving in together, that's cool congratulations um for some of you i really do think it's more so just opening up about like libra is an air sign and so i think it is really about communicating your feelings um why do i want to yeah so that bat card was an air sign and then the fool often represents like air as well i think it's like aquarius energy or something but um i do feel that you guys are like either you could be an air sign or you're dealing with an air sign but there is this energy of communication coming in or just some kind of um, progress within this connection. So I hope that was um, insightful for you guys. Happy full moon in Libra. And thank you for watching. Uh, if you feel like reposting and doing all that awesome stuff that helps me get more views, please do that. Um, comment if it resonated. Feel free to DM me. Um, 
And if you want to book a reading, go and look at my pinned tweet. But I'll, I, I'll probably also put it in the link below. Love you guys. Bye.